Hello everyone, my name is Leon Tran and I've been trading domains for about 10 years now. Thank you for getting my domain trading guide. So now why should you get into domain trading? I'd like to mention this quote by Bill Gates, the richest man in the world. And this is what he has to say about domain names. Domains have and will continue to go up in value faster than any other commodity ever known to man. So here are some examples of domain sales in 2015. So up at the top we got porno.com for $8,888,888. That's a pretty strange number but that's what it is sold for and then we have some other big money domains some two letters some numbers and you can see this at dnjournal.com and this is the year to date sales chart for 2015 okay so here's an example uh, this gentleman named Clark 14 years ago he bought the domain pizza.com a brand new domain of which he registered for the first time right here pizza.com so for $20 and 14 years later he sells it for 2.6 million dollars and how much did it cost him over the years so about twenty dollars a year to keep the domain he doesn't have any employees he doesn't pay for any maintenance fees uh, no hosting no uh, website development no customers nothing he just owns the domain and then pay the yearly fees of maybe around twenty dollars so in fourteen years it may have, may have costed him about two hundred eighty dollars and then he sells it for 2.6 million now this is just one example of how to uh, invest in domains and hold on to it for long term but uh, that's one strategy but my strategy is a little bit uh, I say safer and quicker uh, about flipping domains within weeks to register domain names all you have to do is go to Google and search for domain registration and you would see a lot uh, of domain registration companies like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Network Solutions and these are uh, places you can go to to register domain names .com .org .net. My uh, favorite registration company is GoDaddy so let's click on this and then you would go to their website so type in your domain here like this and then search the domain and then you will see yes your domain is available or if not it will say it's not available anymore and here's the price and always look for coupons when, when registering domain names uh, you can buy dot com domain from GoDaddy for as low as 99 cents so uh, be sure to always search for coupons when registering domain names when buying or selling domain names always try to go for the dot com but if you can't uh, you can still trade domains in other extensions like dot org and dot net so here's a link uh, to the website uh, registrarsstats.com and the link is inside the guide you can come here to check this page out this shows the most popular top level domains so total domain registration about 100 million 122 million followed by .net .org so normally I would buy and sell domains in uh, these three extensions if I can't get the dot com then 
I'll try to buy .net or .org but the rest I uh, deal very little with and here's another link to a page that shows the stats for the top level domains that have been developed into websites so about 50% of all the websites uses .com and then the rest are like .ru, .de, .net, .org and so on so .net and .org are still high up here I would not buy domains for .ru which is Russia unless you know the language but I will also trade maybe UK since they speak English but for others like DE Germany and Japan JP unless you know the language uh, you shouldn't be dealing with those extensions so again try to deal with these three top level domains .com, .net, .org so buy and sell these domains rather than the others which are harder to sell .com will always be the best and then .net and then .org the fundamental domain trading strategy I want to teach you in this guide is to buy and sell domains with high keyword commercial value and and high search volume so here's an example I use the keyword planner from Google AdWords to find all my uh, keywords so if I see domains I would go here and uh, search for the their keywords see if it has good search volume which is the average monthly searches and good suggested bid price which shows the commercial value so if people are willing to pay $33.35 for a click for this keyword this means the domain name with this keyword so web hosting would be webhosting.com would be really valuable so so the high search volume and high su suggested bid price means a very valuable domain for you to buy and sell so here's three examples web hosting it has 27,100 searches a month with a $33.35 bid price so this makes it a really valuable domain the next keyword humidifiers it has 14,800 search volume with a $1.69 this is also a good uh, keyword domain since both of these are high well one is kinda low but still so I suggest anything a dollar and over uh, for the commercial value is good and average monthly searches over 1000 a month is good the higher the better of course and so I would try to get domains with uh, these keywords high search volume and high commercial value so I will get them in the .com extension if not then I would move on to the .net and .org and rarely I would go and register or buy new uh, domain extensions like .ninja .review .club unless it's a really really good keyword like web hosting or like blog dot ninja or something one word keyword with like over like hundreds of thousands of monthly searches then maybe I would venture off into those other domain extensions but for the most part I just recommend you guys to stick with dot com dot net and dot org when uh, starting out buying and selling uh, flipping domain names 
And here's the last example. Funny cats with hats. Uh, something like this. I wouldn't even bother with to buy and resell. It's 10 searches a month. Zero commercial value. So that's just a really extreme example. Now I don't suggest you to buy brandable domains. These are like made up words like these for example uh, iseco.com uh, desk forest hj desk uh, you know just made up words uh, put together so I, I suggest to for you to stay away from those um, just stay away from weird domains or weird keywords uh, it's high risk and not worth it for reselling uh, so if you're into domain reselling uh, you shouldn't buy these brandable domains because uh, it's hard to find buyers for them and also at uh, for beginners at the moment I would suggest uh, not to get into the short domains so like three three or four characters domain names like these for instance and number domains um, they're, they're just a risky market for for reselling if uh, you're to buy these type of domains today uh, it may uh, be hard to resell them it just um, really crazy high prices right now for these so it's probably not a good idea to uh, invest in them right now if you're into buying low and selling high because right now these uh, domains are quite high uh, for you to buy so I suggest beginners to not deal with short domains and number domains and lastly um, never buy or register trademark domains so for example google.com and microsoft.com uh, don't register any of these either misspelled or other extensions like google.ninja or microsoft.club uh, or something like that or misspelled in any extensions like googly.com uh, google.arrow of course don't register that um, this is called uh, cyber squatting and it's illegal and just not worth it I've already told you where to register new domain names now where to buy and sell domains that have already been registered so in order to buy domains that are no longer available you would need to go to domain marketplaces uh, and then buy from resellers brokers or the owners the first domain marketplace I like to tell you about is the free form these are domain forums that uh, people go to discuss about domain names and also buy and sell domain names so these are my top three uh, lists of uh, forums domain forums with uh, domain marketplaces so the first one is namepros.com and the links are inside the guide so here at namepros the marketplace forum you can uh, see the domains for sale from members here it is free to list domains and buy sell domains and there are no commissions so you would go to all domains for sale and here you can see a bunch of people selling domain names and the second place I want to tell you about is 
digital point these have these are generally lower value domains And the next one is DN forums. This is a very, I think, higher quality uh, place to buy and sell domains compared to digital points and maybe even name pros because to be a member here you have to pay a monthly or yearly fee or a lifetime pay a one-time fee to be a, a member here to buy and sell domains so people here I think are more advanced compared with name pros and a lot more advanced compared to digital point and here you can find domains in the that are worth in the fifty thousand dollars or over a hundred thousand dollars and you can find them here these are big domains and later on I'll show you my case study on how I was able to purchase a couple of domains from DN forum and then resell them back within a week and a half the next uh, marketplace you can buy domains from is uh, domain auctions and here's my top list cedo.com this is one of my favorite and flipper and auction go daddies so let's check them out so cedo.com they I think have one of the largest uh, domain selection and you go you can buy you can make offers they have buy now prices and auctions so let's check out the auction and then you would just bid on the domains you want and then try to win it the next uh, auction domain auction is flipper and they have some uh, really good domains here as well especially if you go to the most active uh, auction listing here are some active uh, domain auctions and uh, these are what their current bid is so jvd.com someone uh, has already bid 22,100 and yeah there's some big domains and here's a good one jennifer.net uh, 255 dollars I think this is a good deal if you can buy this for 255 dollars since it is a pretty popular name So uh, this is a good place. Next is GoDaddy Auctions. Uh, since they're one of the biggest domain registration companies in the world, so they have a lot of domains uh, for sure at the auctions, and you can find a lot of bargains here. So uh, this is also one of my favorites. Okay, next on the list is expired domains. So these are domains that are near expiration so they're either almost expiring or fully expired and deleted and then available again to the public and most of the time the domain registration companies will auction off these exp expiring domains to the public so you can definitely find a lot of uh, good bargains for, uh, looking at expired domains especially those that were formerly established websites with uh, backlinks and traffic and uh, the keyword rich domains there's a lot of them and you can get them uh, when they're expiring 
and it's a good value for resellers but this kind of strategy is uh, not recommended for beginners how to appraise a domain see how much the domain is worth this is probably the hardest thing to teach uh, there's no certain guideline to follow uh, appraising a domain takes experience and uh, if you're a beginner I suggest you go to the domain appraisal at the forums uh, name pros this is where you can uh, post your domain and then have people appraise your domain see how much they think it's worth there's also another domain appraisal from uh, uh, domain DN form you, you can come here and post your domain and then see what other people uh, think how much your domain is worth and never use automated domain appraisal tools like uh, sdbot.com if you want to sell your domain uh, you do not want to list something from sdbot uh, to judge how much your domain is worth other domainers domain traders will just think it's a joke because some an automated tool uh, will just give you very unrealistic valuations so they'll probably just laugh at you do not use estibot for domain appraisals and if you're looking to just buy domain you can always ask for help in appraising the domain so for instance this is a uh, name pros domain appraisal section you can see here that the, uh, the, the, some of these domains have like eight, rep eight replies from other people and you would go here and then contact these people that have posted their appraisals and ask them maybe to help you out and most of them will uh, do it for free they'll gladly help you and if not uh, just ask somebody else here are like other replies other appraisals and if they want to ask for a fee then maybe a small fee you can pay them to give you some advice on the domain appraisal only if you're serious about buying a domain uh, that is you know kind of worthy big expensive and you're looking for a second opinion I would say get multiple opinions if you're looking to seriously buy a big domain if you're buying something small like under ten dollars under twenty dollars uh, yeah you can still get an appraisal but I wouldn't uh, uh, get too serious about asking like 10 different people on how much your $20 domain is worth uh, these people will probably want to appraise uh, bigger domains another great way to appraise a domain is to look at the past selling price or the sold price of a domain so for instance uh, web hosting and web hosting dot co dot uk was sold for five hundred thousand in two thousand twelve and you have these other web hosting domains like web hosting dot me dot eu and all of these were for thousands of dollars then so say now you own web hosting dot de or dot org you know it's going to be worth right up there and this is a good way to judge uh, how much your domain is worth by looking at the sold prices payment and domain transfer so after selling a domain or buying a domain the transfer 
process begins so if you're uh, buying or selling a domain uh, just make sure the other person has good ratings and history and if you're gonna buy uh, pay for a domain uh, you can pay through PayPal if it's up to maybe around three hundred dollars anything more than three hundred I would highly recommend to use an escrow service like escrow.com or dn.com so this is escrow.com and here's dn.com these are both professional escrow services so an escrow service is where uh, it protects the buyer and the seller from getting scammed so here's how it works so say you buy a domain from a seller for a thousand dollars you would uh, send the payment to, to escrow.com and then they will hold your money and once they uh, have your money in their account the escrow account they will contact the seller to transfer you the domain and then once you've received the domain and confirm it with escrow they will then release the money to the seller and this way everybody's protected and uh, the cost uh, is a small fee to pay for the amount of protection you'll be getting and let's check out the fee calculator so here's the uh, fees if you're to buy a domain for a thousand dollars you would pay thirty two dollars fifty cents for the escrow service and let's see for ten thousand you only pay hundred seventy five dollars and most of the time the fee is split between the buyer and the seller if you're buying uh, or selling domains through Cedo.com or Flippa.com, uh, these marketplaces have their own escrow service built in. And since they're already charging you a commission for uh, sold domains, their escrow service is free to use. Uh, for beginners, I recommend you guys to just buy domains uh, around 10 to 20 dollars for resale so for now escrow service is probably something you won't be using you probably be using uh, PayPal to uh, pay and receive payments for now so later on when you start dealing with bigger domains and definitely use escrow so how to transfer a domain to the buyer each uh, domain registration company like GoDaddy or Namecheap they will have their own uh, transferring uh, process steps so you will need to view their tutorials or help section to uh, get the proper instruction on how to transfer the domain to your buyer but the basic uh, steps would be to unlock the domain from your account and then get the authorization code and then you send that to your buyer and then the buyer would initiate the domain transfer from his uh, chosen uh, registration company so for instance if the buyer is from uh, GoDaddy he wants you to transfer the domain to his account at GoDaddy after you unlock the domain the buyer would then go to GoDaddy and type in uh, the domain that, that he just purchased from you so my example dot com and then he would just uh, go click go and then uh, add it to his cart and check out and then pay the seven dollar 
99 cents fee to get the domain transfer to the buyer account uh, like this now for instance if you're the seller and the domain is also at GoDaddy and the buyer also has a GoDaddy account you can easily uh, do a domain transfer which is now called a domain push this is where you uh, push the domain from your account into the buyer account just by uh, just with his email and account username so you would not need to do the unlock or the get the domain authorization code if you if you're pushing a domain from the same domain registration company you only need the email and the account username if both the seller and buyer use the same domain registration company just like GoDaddy then you can do domain push with just the email of the buyer and the account username of the buyer now here's the case study of how I flipped two domains in less than a couple of weeks by using the domain forum marketplaces so I was at dnforum.com and I was browsing and noticed this guy was selling 49 quality domains and uh, I was browsing the list and I saw I saw these two domains humidifiers.org and compilation.org uh, these are two very good search uh, highly search uh, volume domains and here it is uh, compilation has 33,100 searches a month and humidifiers has about 14,800 searches a month uh, good commercial value and compilation doesn't have a good commercial value but it has a really uh, pretty good search it, search volume and uh, both of these are one keywords or single keywords domains uh, which is quite valuable and I noticed that humidifiers uh, dot com was sold for fifty thousand dollars right here back in 2011 when I looked at the uh, sold prices so here it is back in 2011 humidifiers.com was sold for fifty thousand dollars so I was thinking uh, these two are good easy sales a good resale and so I offered him fifty fifty dollars each and then he replied and he told me uh, sixty dollars each so I bought these two domains for sixty dollars each just uh, on DN forums and about one and a half week later I sold both of these domains for two hundred and fifty dollars. Here's here was my listing at NamePros. So I bought it on uh these domain from DN Forum and then resell them uh get directly at the same forums, DN Forum and NamePros. I just list these domains at both of uh, these uh, marketplaces since it's free anyways and uh, I was selling it with a price of $150 or best offer and this person um, bought it right here so he bought compilation for $150 or $149 and then he also bought my other domain humidifiers.org for another hundred 
dollars and uh, here's his message to me that he would buy both for 250 and then and then he said a minus ten dollar PayPal fee and I told him 250 and I'll take the fees so I just uh, the negotiation uh, they're very informal uh, just very simple messages just like when I messaged the seller that I was interested in buying his domains so just keep your message simple and straight to the point and same with my sales page I just list some uh, just the important facts uh, highlight the the, uh, the domain the keyword and here I made a mistake I supposed to put down over 30,000 33,000 search volume per month and I made a mistake but still uh, it got sold uh, since it's just a strong keyword single keyword domain and that's why I just want to tell you guys the important of this strategy is to just focus on buying uh, keyword domains with high search volume and high commercial both uh, you can get them both high search volume and high commercial value then that would be great if not then go for the high search volume keywords or the other uh, high commercial value so I didn't make a whole lot of money from this uh, domain sale for compilation and humidifiers.org but it just I'm trying to show you that it still works domain flipping still works today it's as easy as just buying the domain and then holding it for a week or two and then relisting the domain at the marketplaces it's a simple strategy um, simple to execute there's nothing to develop uh, no pay-per-click no SEO you just buy the domain and then you sell the domain there's nothing to it really just buy and then list them up for sale and here are some final tips for uh, domain trading you should start small buy domains for uh, about ten dollars and then try to make a profit set reselling them and then work your way up from there and then again always avoid the trademarked domains and then shop around for the best domain registration and transfer prices and here's an important one don't buy too many domains and uh, focus more on selling them and don't sell domains in bulk always list for sale one domain uh, at one listing at a time so this is one listing and I'm selling one domain for this one listing I don't want to list like 10 or 20 domains uh, in one listing it just devalues the domain and it's just easier to sell uh, one domain at a time and again uh, start small learn experience and grow uh, thanks for getting my domain trading guide I'll be releasing more strategies for quickly flipping domains in the near future thanks again